Hi guys, you're right. So a story came into my head the other day that's from like 2012, but I was just thinking about it and I realised I hadn't done a story time in a really long time. So I thought why not tell it? But before I get into that story, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and... so that you know exactly when I upload a new video. So, as I said, I think this story's from about 2012, I must have just turned 18, and I was going out with my friends as 18 year olds do. Well, in the UK, don't underage drink if you're somewhere where the age is older. Actually, who am I to talk? So yeah, a group of us all got together, we went round to a friend's house, got ready to go out, and then we went out. Probably went to a few different bars, but then we ended up in this club in Newcastle that we would always go to. And I don't really remember how I met this guy or like how the meeting came about, I know it was in the club, but somehow we met, we started talking, and obviously decided that we were going to leave. And on our way out, we got a picture together, which will become important later on. So as we're leaving and we're walking around, and I don't really mind giving any of these actual details out because, well, as you've seen by the title, I'm pretty sure none of these details are really correct. So as we're walking, he tells me he's called Jamie, he's from Leeds, he works in IT and he's here just for a little while doing some work and then he'll be going back, which is fine, none of that I would have had a problem with because it's clearly not going to be a long time thing. So then we get to his apartment, not going to go into too many details of what happened there, but one thing I will say, I made some friends maybe two years ago, maybe just less, and from their flats. They had like a balcony and a window so I could see out and I was pretty sure across from where these friends were that that's where it was and that was like, oh yeah, that's the place from like 2012. <laughs> Oops. So then we've gotten up to whatever we've gotten up to. And then kind of as I'm leaving, he tells me he's either got a girlfriend or a wife or something and I think at least one kid, which was a really weird thing to hear. But obviously I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go back to the club, find my friends and go back to staying at the friend's house that we were all originally at. So then a few days pass, obviously that picture that I mentioned earlier has been uploaded to the club Facebook page. So I go and find it, or I don't think I was specifically looking for it, but obviously I was looking through for pictures of the night and I was like, oh yeah, we got a picture. Now obviously that picture I'm not going to show, I'll have some kind of respect. But then me as an 18 year old goes, oh why don't I try and find him? And if you try and tell me you haven't stalked anyone online, you're lying. There are two types of people in this world, people who stalk on Facebook and people who lie. But then after a while of not being able to find anything, it kind of dawned on me, oh, well if he's really got a kid and he's got this family unit, you clearly would lie so that someone wouldn't be able to find you. So I was like, oh shit, I got fake named great. I mean, not that I really needed to be bothered. That's now six years ago and I don't care, but I probably cared so much at the time. But what can you do? So obviously that was a short little video. I could have gone into more details, but I didn't really want to for my own sake. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you want to watch another video just like this one, there's a couple right over there that you can watch right now. And a subscribe button below me that you should click because I post new videos all the time kind of inconsistently, and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when. And I'll see you soon!